What is up, fellow frag addicts? Welcome to the channel. This is actually my very first video, as you can probably tell. Um, this is so out of my comfort zone, it's not even funny. Um, this whole thing came about just kind of joking around with uh, a buddy of mine a while back. Um, you know, just kind of uh, kidding around about maybe starting something like this, never really intending to do it. And then just this past week, um, and talking to another friend on Facebook, um, we were kind of doing that thing. You should start a YouTube channel. No, you should start a YouTube channel. Fast. Anyway, um, he really inspired me to give this a shot, and so here I am. But um, I promise you that this is going to be very amateurish, this video, um, as it, I guess, should be. It's my first. Um, hopefully it won't be too cringe that you won't want to come back later on and that you won't hit the subscribe button down below. Um, but yeah, I want to have fun with this. Um, my fragrance journey started, I'm pretty old, so it started quite a while back. Um, I remember probably my very first distinct scent memory being back in the first grade. I had this teacher that I had a major crush on, and I looked forward to going to school every day just because she smelled so good. Of course, being a kid at the time, I didn't realize what it was that she was wearing. It wasn't until much later on that um, I found out that, um, just because I recognized it, but I, I realized that my aunt wore the same uh, scent, and it turned out to be Cinnabar by Estee Lauder. And then later on in junior high, I had um, a girlfriend that would take my jacket, and um, when she would give it back at the end of the day, I mean, it just smelled so fantastic. Um, and she wore Beautiful by Estee Lauder. I guess I had a thing for Estee Lauder. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, a buddy of, of mine at the time, he wore your car. Um, and I loved the way that smelled, but he kind of snagged it as his signature scent. And um, I've got, got you know, a bottle of it now just for nostalgia sake. But, um, but that was about the time, it was in junior high that I started actually purchasing um, fragrances. Of course, we didn't call them fragrances. We called them, it was either cologne or it was perfume. It was man or woman. There was no unisex sense or anything like that. Um, and my very first expensive purchase, I remember going to the mall and, and actually getting um, this uh, cologne was uh, Perry Ellis for men, the, um, the OG. And um, just remember just feeling like I was something because, you know, I was able to, like, purchase this expensive uh, cologne. But um, from there, you know, I purchased ones like um, Liz Claiborne for Men, um, Photo by Lagerfeld, ones like that, e Eternity, Calvin Klein. Um, but I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, a, and, but it wasn't until um, recently, um, about a year ago, that um, I started, like, looking around on YouTube, started looking at reviews, um, searching around on Facebook and realize that there's this whole fragrance community out there. Uh, people that are getting together, talking about what they're buying, uh, comparing how they like certain scents, talking about note breakdowns, and just the, the science behind the whole thing. I mean, it's just so, um, so cool um, to, to, to get into all of that. So that's really what started me collecting. As with most who get into this hobby, if you want to call it that, um, who start collecting, um, I, I did go a little overboard, um, went from zero to 60 in two seconds, um, and my collection just kind of like exploded. I've just added these shelves back here in my office because um, I've got like a bunch of shelving in my bedroom. They're, they're just all full. So this has become like my, my overflow. So anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been really cool. I, I really love looking at the, uh, the different reviewers, um, like Jensen's Chaos, 
Um, I've even got into some of the, the female um, reviewers too. I think that they're great. Um, Ava Monroe, Timmy Rawling, um, ones like that. Um, I just really um, enjoy hearing their take on certain um, fragrances and just their opinions on, on things. But that's what this is all about. I mean, this game is so subjective. Smell is so subjective. So what I might like, you're not going to, and vice versa. So that's, that's just all a part of it. But anyway, I hope that uh, if you did enjoy this video today that you will uh, come back and give me another shot um, and that you will hit the subscribe button down below. I look forward to seeing you again in the very near future.